Ryan here with Traditional American Hunter. I uh, recently bought some Rose City Archery arrows. Again, that's Rose City Archery. And I forgot to order the taper tool. So I'm remodeling a house and I got some sandpaper lying around. I got uh, some P80 grit, G2 flexible, uh, kind of heavy sandpaper. And I had already tried to put these wikis on uh, these arrows and Zwicky four blade no mercies don't really fit um, if you just use a pencil sharpener <laughs> to try and, uh, you know, uh, taper your arrows. So the fix is to sand what you got by twisting the arrow in the sandpaper with a little bit of pressure from your thumb and your pointer finger or however you want to do it. And if you roll it just right by twisting it, then you'll wear down the area right here that keeps it from going into the arrow head. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how that fits. So right here, you can see the arrow going in and there's a little bit of space right there. So I want less space. I want that shaft to go all the way up in that um, tube that the arrow head has. So you keep twisting and twisting. And if you want to take a look at it where you're at, you could also run the arrow shaft like this, but turn it at the same time. See how I'm turning? And you just want to get that sort of kind of bump down from where you used a pencil sharpener like me to try and get the shape of that tube to match up to where the shaft can go all the way up past that opening. And, and when it goes past that opening, it will look like this. And you'll know that that uh, shaft is perfect. It'll also fit tight. And then when you spin the arrowhead to check it, the arrow won't wobble. So anyway, this is what you do if you do not have a taper tool, but you got a pencil sharpener from your kid's school box or backpack, or I went and ran in to a Walgreens and bought a pencil sharpener. So again, just constantly spin and turn that arrow shaft until you get that material off and get that shape that you're trying to accomplish. I am almost there. I got a little bit of work to do here. You can kind of see it's still open. So. Twist it really hard. Elk season starts in about two days on Thursday and it's Tuesday. So I need to make sure I got more than three arrows ready to go. Even though there's one tag, we all know what happens if you're not prepared. So see this tip right here? One side is a little bit more than the other. So I'm going to work on this side now. Just keep turning it until it's nice and even. Spin it. 
this is where you get the most uniform sanding, twisting the whole thing, of course. Okay, let's try it. I like that fit, it's tight. Wobbles just a little, straighten her out. Okay, now we can proceed to the next step. Um, see, that's the pencil sharpener I used. So we can proceed to the next step, uh, melting the ferrolite, getting these broadheads secured on this shaft and ready to go for elk season and whitetail season. I plan on doing um, a couple months worth of hunting this year. So I look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks for following Traditional American Hunter. And if we hit 800 subscribers the month of September, I'm probably going to give away a box of Rose City Archery Arrows. So tell your friends and I will give them a box of Rose City Archery Arrows if we get 800 subscribers by the end of September. See you guys.